bitch. It's your boy, man. I, I got something to tell y'all, man. I'm actually not the LS Swap Guru, man. LS Swap Guru is on a much needed vacation, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually his twin brother, the finer one, you know what I'm saying? He think he's fine, but actually, I'm the finer one, man. So with that being said, he told me something about a giveaway or something like that. Hell, I don't know. I'm just here to build the engine, guys. So what we're going to do today is I got this 5.3 over here, and we're going to get it started. He left a couple parts. He told me to go over the damn parts. So God damn it, I'm going to be going over these parts. So uh, we got some 799 heads. Follow me, damn it. Got some 799 heads over here. Something about a damn valve job. I don't know what that is. But I got a coupe going down on the pig's tail belt. Got a valve job on these 799 heads. Nice, clean, ready to go. Got some springs on it. 605s. Pretty good, right? Sound like some intake bolts. Now for the good stuff. LS7 lifters from BTR. You got some push rod. 7400. Harden from BTR. Got a cam bolt. You got a couple things over here, people. Got a brand new Iskit. Brand new Iskit cam. Open that thing up. I want to see how shiny it is. God damn. Look at that, dear. Would you look at that? Would you look at that, dear? Oh, that thing said 108. It's going to be a choppy one. It's going to be a choppy, choppy, choppy. Y'all can't get them cam specs, though. <laughs> got that lube for what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? These right here are head bolts. Uh, head bolts for both sides, brand new. Um, got head gaskets. Two sets of those. Uh, what else do we have here? This is... Oh, I know what this one is. This is the cam sensor. I know a lot of people use the original parts, and you definitely can, but for this, I'm doing everything new, y'all. Everything new but the damn pistons. Why not, right? Got a brand new AC Delco. All parts are going to be AC Delco or GM. Um, for the gaskets, they're actually going to be Felpro. Valve cover gaskets. This is the U-turn for the water pump. Uh, oops. What is this? Front timing cover gasket. Oh, the shoot. There we go. We got timing gear. Timing chain. Brand new timing sprocket. But the engine already has a uh, brand new sprocket. Look at that, man. All these hell that stuff under y'all. Everything all clean and mean. I don't really know if I want to give out my address, man. Because I can keep all my parts out. You know what I'm saying? I keep everything. Y'all got LSA superchargers. This engine right here got LSA front assessor. You're supposed to be getting a supercharger on that thing right there, right behind that, backed up by that 4L lady right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got a tensioner for the water pump. I've been just throwing parts together. I'm trying to keep everything together. This is the power steering pump. I'm just showing you guys everything that we have. I'm going to start assembling this damn thing. You know what? Hell. We're going to assemble this thing today. Right now in this video, that's what we're about to do. I'll show you a couple more parts because I believe I have everything to assemble the top end, so at least we can get that done. Um, brand new GM lifter trays. Don't replace your lifters without replacing the lifter trays. These things right here, when they old, the lifters will start running away. So we got a couple of those. Brand new lifter trays. I already have the belt. I have the, uh, man, this thing look old now. I have the, uh, Islander pulley. I have the rear seal, brand new in the box. Everything here is brand new, y'all. Now, for my favorite, down here, this is actually the, uh, that's actually the oil pan. This is my favorite part right here. Okay, Siri, y'all heard her. She said her ass can finally relax. That means it's 7 o'clock. My phone going, do not disturb at 7 o'clock. So, what do we got up in here? Got brand new Holly front accessories, man. So, 
Y'all get whoever enter into this giveaway, man. Y'all gonna be getting. Y'all not gonna be getting no boo boo parts. Y'all gonna be getting a one good quality, man. A one good quality, man. So I'm not saying Holly makes the best stuff, but I'm just saying you guys are gonna be getting good quality parts. Uh, so I got the Holly. I have. These are the bolts for that. This is the ball filter, and I mean, hell, that's pretty much it. Obviously, I have plenty, in, plenty, uh, plenty. I have plenty intakes over here. So, like I was saying, clearly I have plenty intakes right here, and I'm, I got to choose one to put on the LS. So I mean. Any, mini, money, go. Which one of you LS has got to go? You know what I'm saying? If you had to let it go. You know what I mean? Uh, I got a couple inches over here as well. So, don't be looking in the background. You know what I'm saying? Stay when I, I mean, when I'm talking about something, you, you guys got to stay focused with me. So, try to stay focused, man. So, right here, we have a LS2 aluminum block. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about that right there. That's what I'm talking about. Stay focused. Don't worry about that. We got a aluminum block 6.0. We have an iron block 6.0. This one has also been rebuilt. I uh, covered it up because my boy Ty, and shout out to my boy Lil Diesel, you know what I'm saying, my boy X-Men. They gave me a road mic that I have not even used yet, and I need to be using it, but I lost the adapter piece to it. Uh, so he has an El Camino. He's going to be doing a... Uh, what is he going to be doing? He has an El Camino that he's going to be doing. So basically, this one has the same exact setup. New cam bearings, new rod bearings, uh, main, no, cam bearings, rod bearings, piston rings. Uh, I reused the, the pistons on those two. I've been reusing all the pistons if they're good, but I just said F it now. It's only like another 300 bucks, 200, 300 bucks upgrade to piston, so that's what I'm going to be doing. This is another aluminum block LS2. I came up on this one on a pretty, I think a pretty, pretty decent deal, pretty fair deal. This one is actually going to be going in my wife 96 Impala, you know what I'm saying? My wife 96 Impala SS, you know what I'm talking about? So, this is not for sale. This is not for sale. This is potentially for sale. I also have, I also have an LQ9 that's, uh, hey, 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 howdy, bitch. I also have an LQ9 that's possibly going to be for sale. I'm just not sure yet. But <clears throat> for all of you guys that's wondering about the engine, here is the engine right here. I showed it plenty of times. I'll show you guys one last time because I'm about to assemble this thing. So uh, I cleaned up the original um, the original pistons that was up in here. I cleaned those up. Uh, the walls have been honed. The tank, the, uh, the engine has been hot tanked. That's why it looks so clean up in there. It looks brand new. Look at that brand new cast iron. Uh, it has a new sprocket on there. Cam bearings piston rings uh this thing literally has never been fired up you can still see the you know what I'm saying still see the grease on that thing so basically today what we're going to do is we're going to be installing the majority of the gaskets as you see in the back no gaskets here no did he put the that's one thing Johnny be messing up on y'all see that right there when you when you start assembling your LSs there's like this little dumbbell, this little old dumbbell you got to put in. Did he put it in the front? Ah, right, yeah, so we good for the front, you know what I'm saying? We good for the front. But um, there's this dumbbell that you guys cannot forget. You would not get no oil with that thing. But nonetheless, um, right now what I would like to do is I would like to put the cam in. Do I got a cam plate? I got a cam plate somewhere. I just got to find it. Uh, I would like, I'm going to put the cam in. I'm going to put in the lifters. I will put the heads on today in this video, and I'll put the push rods in, and I'll probably have the whole engine fully front assembled if I have the, I got to figure out where the oil pump is at, and the cam plate. Oil pump and cam plate. Here's the computer. I got plenty of computers right here. These are actually the... Uh, the exhaust manifold. I'm gonna go take these and go get them ceramic coated black. And what else? Engine harness. Engine harness, engine harness. We cannot forget the engine harness. Silly me, right? I got I got a couple engine harnesses actually, you know what I'm saying? I gotta ship some out. So this is actually gonna be perfect timing for me to be able to show you guys 
what this engine harness actually looked like. The one for the giveaway. <laughs> I need to start more videos off like this, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like that little cowboy prison pose, you know what I mean? If it's not in this box, it's going to be, I got another box full of pieces as well. All right, so it made me go all the way to the last box. So I know exactly what harness it is. I don't even have to look in this box. I know for a fact. I know for a fact it's in this box. So let's go to the other side and check it out. Hey, little, little hey, X Men, good looking, man. Good looking out for that, uh, for that camera. Ooh, good looking out for that light, man. But now you see me sweating, so I don't know if I need to. Maybe let me just tone that thing down because I didn't know I was sweating that bad. Hot damn. Hot damn. All right, that's good. That's good right there, man. So I have the harness right here. That camera actually working, you know what I'm saying? Howdy, bitch. A lot of people ask me where I got this hat from, man. As bad as I want to say, it was actually Phil that asked me on the last video. He said, where you get the hat from, man? I want to say I got it from Mexico, but I ain't going to lie to you. I got it from downtown L.A., you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Whew. All right, let's get to it. So, when you purchase the harness from me, first thing first, you're going to have a list. It's going to be a paper. You're going to get all your instructions. It tells you how to install the harness. It tells you everything. For the giveaway, for the giveaway harness, this is what we got right here. Brand new, new and approved, new and improved, LSG wiring harness. Everything that you need right here. Oops, 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 oops. This pin right here is if it's 4060, you want to convert it to 4080. You have a nice OBD2 port. You have a ground here next to the fuse, bo fuse box. You have one signal for the fuel pump and one constant hot for the fuel pump. One ignition key hot. Come on now, y'all. You have a bundle of wires here. This bundle of wires here is going to be able to... Oh, mine also have AC and uh, E85 lines. I mean, E85 already pinned in case you want to do that. Nice rubber grommet. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You have the constant hot. This one goes directly to the starter. And I believe we have one more ground somewhere else. One more ground right there. Bam, that goes in the back of the head. So this is this is the specific harness that's going on this giveaway engine. And I did this one a 4060E, I believe. Yep, 4060E, because most people, I was trying to make it affordable. Some people, it's a 5.3. You don't need a 4080 behind this. You can do a 4060 with a nice little stall, man. Trust me, this thing is going to put and scoop. So... We got about 90 tickets available, um, 90 tickets that's left. I'm only going to be doing three giveaways, you guys. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people that when they do their giveaways, they mainly have like one in, one winner. I don't know if I should have chose four winners on this one, but, you know, I was I was feeling good, so I did it. First place is going gonna, gonna to be 150 slots. Let's start with that. It's going to be 150 slots, 75 bucks per slot. You get... First place is going to get the 5.3 that I'm about to assemble right now. Zero miles, never been fired up. It's going to have a cam, 799 heads. It's going to have an LS1 intake, uh, LS7 lifters. Basically, everything to whoop some ass. You know what I'm saying? You either get this engine or $2,500. Which one are you choosing? And if you already if you already uh, bought your ticket, leave it in the comments where this engine is going or if you're going to take the money. So, first place is get the engine or $2,500. And uh, this also covers shipping. So if you want the engine, shipping is on me. If you're local, hell, I might even pull up and drop it off my damn self. <sighs> second through fourth. Second through fourth is going to get 500 bucks. So second place, third place, fourth place, you get 500 bucks. So out of 150 people, you're basically going to get four chances to win. You're probably like, oh, my eyes is a... Hey, your eyes is zero if you don't enter, you know what I'm saying? So there will be two more giveaways after this. I uh, already have them in mind. I just want to get rid of this one. I mean, get rid of it. I just want to finish this one first. So, once we finish this one, I got two more in me. The next one is going to be all through computer. I'm not first thing I'm going to do is, when I build my engines, a lot of people ask me if I can build an engine from scratch. Yes. I can do it. You can also do it. Is it my thing? No. I hate doing it. 
I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna have to turn out this light, man. I'm sweating. That ain't cute. That ain't cute right there. So what I like to do on the engines, I like to uh, put them at a TDC, which is top dead center. Basically, you want to make sure piston, uh, piston number uh, one is all the way at the top. So let's start off by doing that. So I'm gonna show you how. You, I'm not gonna show you how to build the engine. I'm gonna show you this one thing, and after this, your boy about the freestyle. So this is cylinder number one here. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I can actually turn the camera light down a little bit. Oh, there you go. That's cylinder number one. I'm gonna take it here. And I'm basically gonna tighten it until this one comes to the top. And once this one gets to the top, guess what? It's gonna be a top dead center. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Bam. That's top dead. So when you get here, you see that little dot right there? That's that top dead center. So you basically want this one facing here. And there's going to be another one on the cam gear that's going to be facing this way. So I can actually show you that because I just had it. So you want them basically to be facing identical like this. That is called top dead center. That is gonna take care of your timing and make sure that your timing is on point. Damn, look at that, that thing is clean. Y'all see that? Mama, woo, you see that mama? Like I said, 5.3, and yes, it says 4.8 slash 5.3s. A lot of people don't have a clear understanding on that is 5.3 and 4.8 is basically the same exact damn thing. Um, the freaking, um, to make it simple on you, the 4.8s have uh, flat top pistons, but I got a cold build that I'm going to do. I can't tell y'all the program on it because I'm going to have to test it out. I know it's going to work. I look like a red bone, y'all. Shane looking like a whole snack. Let me get into this video, man. Let me get into this video. Y'all been waiting long enough. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been waiting long enough. Let's get it. Peace. Enjoy this instrumental by my big cousin, SSP, RIP. I love you, Brody. You still my dog. You still my friend. You still got me, you still got me going, you know what I'm saying? So... Enjoy these instrumentals, and let's get busy. Peace. This is why I love, uh, I'm not sponsored or nothing like that or what I'm going to say, you know what I mean? But it already has a little bit of foil inside there when these things come. That's why that paper was wet. But it's very, a lot of people skip out on this. This is a, this is about $400, $400 right here between the lifters. And I know a lot of people will be like, you trying to get how much money? You, you, you going about it all wrong. See, that's what you're talking about. You worry about my pockets. I mean, you should be worried about your own, you know what I'm saying? But anywho's, um... 
this is uh, I mean honestly for four hundred bucks the lift is like three like two ninety or something like that. The lift the tray about fifteen dollars a piece or something like that. Easily four hundred dollars can save your engine, man. So if you're gonna be putting a, a new engine in your car, if you're gonna be even doing a cam swap or something like that, I recommend you just do your lifters as well. You see how hard it is for me to get that in there? That's how you want it to be. See these lifters? They're not gonna walk. You don't want these lifters walking. These lifters walking is gonna tear that cam right up, man. Make sure I put that in the right way. There we go. Do not lose these freaking um these bolts, man. It ain't like you can just go do a pick apart tripping and grab those. So make sure you don't lose those bolts. Go ahead and do the same thing for this side, man, and get to it. I got so much stuff that I actually need to tell you guys, man. It's just I've been, boy, boy, boy. This has been so much I need to tell y'all, man. It's just it's crazy, man. I can't even, can't even do it. But actually, I think you know what? I think I'm about to go on YouTube Live right now. I'm gonna go on YouTube Live, and then uh, by the time I come back from uh, YouTube Live, whatever, I'll do this. I have this fully assembled. Show you guys some pictures and some videos as I'm going. I got a video on there right now that's going, but man, dude. Fuck it. Friday, let's go on YouTube Live, man. Let's get it. Grab a head gasket. Make sure the head gasket, uh, right there. There we go. Is it this part? Okay, here we go. So grab the head gasket. Make sure your head gasket says 4.8, 5.3. If you're using a 4.8 or a 5.3, make sure it says 6.0 or 6.2. If you're using a what? There you go. There you go. Y'all learning. Y'all learning, man. So rip this bitch out the plastic like she acting brand new or whatever it says. So it'll clearly tell you right here. Right here it says front. You can put this on just like that to make sure that it's on the front. Look and make sure all the cooling holes and everything is lined up. And bingo, bitch, you got action. Howdy, bitch. The head bolts right here. For those of you that's on YouTube Live, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to give me a second. I'm trying to get my video on, you know what I'm saying? Got the new head bolts right here. Gonna crack these open before I start placing all this stuff on here. Check them all. Make sure they all the same size. So this engine right here is actually from like a, uh, it's like, I think it came from an 05 Silverado. So it, this one has all the shorter bolts. So I think 2003 and pre has the, uh, it has all long bolts and two short ones on the side. And then uh, 03, I mean 04 and newer has all short bolts. This engine take all short bolts. Yeah. All right, you guys, so check it out, man. It's your boy, Cowboy Rue. So now we're about to start on the passenger side. I already have the driver's side done. Not torqued down yet, but I do have the driver's side head on. I'm about to install the, uh, the lifters, the new lifter trays, head gasket, and head gasket, and the 799 head. Cam is already in. I can also start and start on the push rods. I don't know where the hell the rockers at, so I gotta get the rockers, but for the most part, the long block is about to be complete. Mm.